tonight on Dark Arts TV. We return to an 1800s haunted abandoned asylum with an incredibly dark past spanning from electric shock therapy to strapping mentally tortured patients to a chair and suspending them from the ceiling high in the air to ridicule the supposed demons out of the patients bodies along with drowning accused witches in the nearby river. Join us as we reinvestigate this notoriously haunted location that's enough to scare the most seasoned of paranormal investigators and horror lovers. This asylum is definitely not for the faint-hearted, and this is why we couldn't resist to return to this terrifyingly dark location. Oh, there's one recording on literally just send the camera on now. No! Whoa! Did you hear that? Oh my god, it just said stop camera. Whoa! It sounds like it says here. We are all with you, and you know it. Do something for us. Right, okay, now, wait a minute, so just double tap it on the back. Dark Eyes TV. Are you recording? No, I don't record, I'll literally just turn the camera on now. There's a black shadow shot, soon I put the full beam on, a black shadow shot across the thingy. But do you not remember when we've been in this section before? We've caught stuff roaming around and stuff. Well, that's what Especially I'm footsteps. See here? What? Whoa. Do you mean that? But that's the door all the right on. So someone's locked in here, remember Gary find this door? Oh uh, yeah. And there was like all this right that someone was locked in it. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Okay. So look. There's loads of writing. I think, what's that? 47, oh, yeah. 1947. Yeah. So do you reckon people locked in this? Well, that's what we were thinking. Yeah. 1956. Yeah. Nin that's mad. I got 1979. That's all crazy. The names of the I reckon they used to lock patients in there 100%. Yeah. Definitely. So what is going on Dark Sides? Welcome back to another crazy adventure. Tonight we've actually returned to this haunted asylum in Northern Ireland. Now we've been here three times. This place is no joke. We've already been in here for literally about 15 minutes and off camera, I've just seen someone, just this room here, someone walk past, no joke. But Neil, you had actually seen it first down at the bottom. Bottom of the hall, yeah. So it seems like as if it's like come from the bottom of the corridor, come across. What the fuck? Whoa. We've seen it walk from, from the bottom of the corridor into this room. Now, we have been hearing groans, we've heard voices, voices, all kinds of weird stuff. Now, previously, when we've been here, I think it was the last time in part two, it sounded like a, a pregnant woman giving birth around this area. And it was actually Neil and Gary had actually witnessed it. So we was actually down at the bottom end at the time, but you guys had actually seen it. Yeah, yeah well, heard it. cameras or them. Yeah, so if you've not seen the original ones, go check them out and understand the backing story of what we've got from here and obviously the evidence. This place was actually built in 1800s and it's one of the main psychiatric hospitals uh, in Northern Ireland and seen a lot of dark stuff. Now previously on the last investigation there was actually a woman named Susan Crow who's one of the patients who kept them fleeing from here and getting readmitted to the hospital. Now I think it was Dr West, what he was doing was he was burning the patient's foot, Susan Crow's feet basically so she, she couldn't run away. Now we actually caught an EVP that said, oh my feet, as if she was in pain. And that was upon the third level, I think it was. So I'm guessing tonight we're in here, it's gonna be freaky as, because we're already with some crazy really. stuff. Yeah. yeah, so I think we should just get, get into this like right now. Yeah. Let's do this. Remember the last time we've not been here quite some time. I think start of last year. This place is an absolute maze. So I'm guessing this is where we go upstairs, right here, and it onto the wards and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely probably is. Yes. We find this so much. Like. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. No. What do you hear? Do you want me to turn the time? Rope, rope torture. Rope. 
rope torture. Weird, man. Why are we getting so much torture stuff through? Fighting <laughs> onto the ground. Yeah, we'll but go back here. But the thing is, that's not the jargon. That's Be your, cautious. It's going on about the actual history of this location. Now that's the weird thing. Yeah. So if you have watched the original episodes, part one and part two, then you'll know the history about this location. Some seriously dark stuff used to take place in there. Now apparently you used to have a octagon room where they'd have patients, several patients in one room, lying down, looking at another patient who was strapped to a chair, spinning around this octagon room because they believed that they were infected by demons. And what they're doing, they were spinning them around in this chair, hanging by a rope to try to spin the demons out of the patients. So we're thinking this is probably going to be the last time we actually investigate this building because there's some new subtle changes we've noticed and we're thinking they're either going to turn this to housing or maybe even house all the immigrants coming in to the country at the moment. Right, so we're on the second level now. I'm guessing these would have been cells back in the day, but there actually is one of the stories that I forgot to mention. There was actually a patient found dead stood up in one of these cells. Yeah. But we never actually got down to the bottom and figured out which room he was in. Huey. Yeah. But how could he be dead standing up? Mm. But I think he was frozen stiff, wasn't it? Yeah. Because it, it must have been obviously like so freezing cold back in the day. Yeah. You know, like, Jesus Christ. Proper like so really rough medieval weird? times. Unheard of, like. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's like some medieval torture stuff. I mean, this building, if anything, if it's going to house some serious energy, then it is this place. Yeah. I mean, we have witnessed it. So let's just see what happens. I'm hoping we're going to get some crazy activity. I really am. Yeah, and don't no. forget about the woman that um, hung herself with her straight jacket. Oh yeah, that was it, yeah. Off the window. Off the window, yeah. yeah. She hung herself on a straight jacket. Mm. Yeah. So let's just keep walking, let's just see what happens. Bridget, I think it was, isn't it? Yeah. How is everyone feeling right now? Weird. I feel proper energetic for some weird yeah. reason. I felt energetic downstairs, but I think I'm exhausted from going upstairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> but like, otherwise, yeah. I don't know, it's weird. I just feel like proper like... Mm. I feel like I'm stimming. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, it's like I'm doing doop 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 Yeah, all this, just all this stuff. And you're like, weird. it's yeah. weird mm. energy. Yeah, I feel like I'm stimming or something. <sighs> just me and Carl on the hot little case. Yeah, doop 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 Because we think these might have been the original cells. We're gonna roll some spirit box and work our way around, try and find out where the hot spot is right now. See if we can communicate with maybe some previous spirits we spoke to last time. Yeah. They seemed to remember us the last time we came here. Yeah, they did. They said something like, oh, you're back or something, remember, so. Yeah, I'll we'll see what happens. Yeah. Carl? Carl? Remember? Remember, remember. Who is this speaking with? Yeah. What was that? What was that? Gabriel? I thought he had runner. Probably all heard for three different things. Yeah. Yeah. He's back. We. 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 Yeah, you. He tells your name. Oh, Robert. 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 Who was Robert? Do you Robert? I don't know. The caretaker here. Uh, I will kill. Uh, I, what? I will kill. Team. Team. You remember us the last time we were here? Did we see you? Yeah. Are these your cells? These are the rooms you were forced into. What? Yeah, it might be like, oh. There was a man that was found dead standing up in one of these rooms. Stand, what was that? What was that? What was that? Stand, was it like standing? I don't know. I thought he had standing. I don't know. Do you want to go down this truth? When you asked that question, I came right sign to me, it said, that's Dan. That's Dan. Like, do you mean after. like that's the I mean, who you're talking about? Those guys down there, but then it could be multiple people. Yeah. Like, same, same yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm going to roll back my footage now. I'm just going to listen to that clip so we can just try to clarify what it actually said. Yeah. Right, so we'll just roll back the footage. It kind of sounds like it says that's dark and a, and a really thick Irish accent. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's just like referring to obviously what I just said there's a man standing up dead. Yeah. Which, you, you know what I mean? People don't die standing up, no. innit? So maybe someone just said that's dark. Mm. Yeah, it's dark. 
This is probably e evil something. This is probably one of the most darkest places in Ireland. Evil. evil. Should we keep walking? With you? Maybe you can tell us where to go. Bed? Bed, yeah. Bed? Bed. On what? What number is your cell? Eleven? Eleven. Whoa! Here! Here! You just said here. What's your name? And what, and what happened? Come on, tell us. Try and tell us, we can help you. People? People, yeah. I think some open something like that. Right, let's just keep walking down and see what happens. Still feel freaky vibe in here. Yeah, it is. I have to watch them fours, guys. <laughs> yeah, watch the fours, Neil. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Last time it was Sarah falling through in that mansion. I know. Yeah, and then Neil's just stepped through the laminate flooring. Yeah, it's just moved. What is it? Oh, yeah. There's a set of eyes in the blue wall. There's a set of eyes, there's two like dots and looked like eyes looking. And there was like a shadow moved. Yeah. But wait a minute, we've had this before though. But the eyes were up. See where you can see the, the light switch? Could it be a reflection? What's that noise? Remember the last time we got the caretaker walking towards us? Yeah, we did. Well, let's just roll this EVP. Oh, oh my god. That's by the camera. What the hell? It's dry. Can you do that again, but louder? There's a story that they used to pull it. Oh my god! Uh, this is creeping me out. Um, it was known that they used to like just like this is horrible, but they used to put the bodies into like this big massive wheelbarrow and wheelbarrow them out. Oh I'm not even joking. Yeah. Those are probably multiple bodies. Yeah. So is, is that like a residual? Someone dragging the dead patients out of the... I thought I could say Ooh, I feel a bit out of breath now. What's that sound we keep hearing? Can you do it one more time for us? Thank you. Mm. 
that's weird because you were getting down there. The meal's behind me. Really? Well, it sounded like it came down from that way. That's weird. This is about to the first EVP and we'll play that one back. That was definitely something either down there or down there. Either like um I don't know, maybe a storm in front or like a walk in this distance. I'm sure we heard keys. Because mm -hmm. you might remember she was doing the essence method. Me and you, Gary, were standing yes, outside and me and you were convinced we were going, right, someone's in the house, someone's in here, they're coming with keys. We could hear them walking with keys and we're like, they're going to come here. They're like, we're going to be caught here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And we're like convinced. We're yeah. waiting for them, to, you're waiting for them to come up the hallway. Yeah. Let's just roll this EVP back and see what we got. Hey guys, 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 sorry, what? sorry what? to interrupt you, I bought and cut that camera. What? There's a black fucking shadow just literally crossed halfway along there. See that sit there green door? I can see it. There's a black shadow went right across the fucking thing. I think the weird thing is it looked like a triangle. I'm not being weird, it looked like a fucking black triangle. Wow, that is good. It just went straight across. When you were doing that, I was just, this is bound to be on camera. Has to be on fucking camera. Obviously, I'm pointing down towards that way as well, so I might caught it. Has to be on camera. Triangle. Like a black triangle, and it was like this height. It was like four foot high, and it crossed the crossed the door. Black triangle. A black triangle. What? Oh! Did you hear that? What yeah. was that? Oh, I've got shivers now. Yeah, me too. That was like a growl thing, wasn't it? But what would be a black? Why would it be like shaped like a triangle? Me, I have no idea. Some interdimensional shit. Black triangle. A black. Do you know what I mean? Wow. I've seen loads of shadows, figures, but a black. Right, guys, I know there's loads of people who are mediums and stuff and watch my channel. Is there anyone on here who knows anything about black blood triangles? Because that was freaking. I'm hoping I've caught that on camera. I'll try and zoom in and see if I've caught the camera. Fingers crossed. Black triangle. A triangle. A black triangle. It was this high. Went right across the door. Let's keep going with this. I'll keep my camera that way, guys. The only, sorry, before you do that, the only thing I can think of when you see shapes and stuff like that, it's um, Megatron. I'm sorry, I know that sounds like a transformer, but it's, not, <laughs> it's a fucking archangel. Yeah, what's oh, right. Yeah. I'm sorry, I know that sounds a bit bizarre, like, but. I never knew that. Yeah, right. or is it Megatron? I don't know. Someone can give me the right name, but he's associated with shapes and stuff like that, but I don't know why an archangel would be black. Weird, Yeah, I know. But there would have been a lot of people, obviously patients are struggling in here and yeah, but don't they'd be calling out for help. Yeah, yeah. don't forget, Ireland, highly religious. Yeah. yeah. Everyone in here would have been religious. Yeah. Like, guaranteed. There was there was people back then who were like 99.9% .9 religious. Like, mm. fuck, I've never said black track. I think that's such a fucking weird one. I, I don't know. Did someone can quote me on that. I, I could be wrong with the name, but yeah. there is one that's associated with that. I don't know. Weird. so far. Nothing. So I was looking into it, it's not actually Megatron, it's Metatron, like Metatron. And um, so yeah, he's, a, he's an archangel who records all the sins of men. 
basically. So I don't know what kind of significance you'd have in this building, but yeah, that's, that's what that is. Well, I suppose you would have had good and evil here. Good and evil, yeah. He records the good and the bad, basically. He's that's freaky. But does it yeah. say anything about shapes well, and I, sizes? Well, it doesn't say specifically here, but I have seen it in the past where he... Yeah. Um, Kind of just shows himself in different shapes and forms. We had that, and see, that's like inter like shapes, like actual. Shapes. Do you know what I mean? Th that in theory, like think about it, that's like proper interdimensional stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Weird. And obviously there is the theory, obviously. Do you know? When you said that, it's like something was thrown. Really? Yeah, there's Oh, oh yeah. See, there's the theory, obviously, like, you know, when we speak to spirits and stuff, it is technically, uh, you know, interdimensional beings are p potentially just all demons, mm -hmm. and it's not actually loved no. one spirits or anything like that. Yeah. So, who not knows? It's not always bad, is it? It's not always bad. It's not always people, maybe. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Like, we just don't know. Like, it's just another theory yeah. out there. For all we know, you could be going around to the souls that was trapped in with this building, and, like, trying to, like, absolve them. Mm. Of their sins, for example, I don't know if that's even his job, but he records all their sins and their good good things they've done and bad things they've done. Yeah. So he could be going around trying to help them here. Maybe. And we've just happened to see him. Or oh, maybe he's the, the like that's just out there. Maybe he's the decider who's good who gets to go to the top yeah, and who gets to go to the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Well like mm. you think the doctors that created a lot of sin, the stuff they've done. Yeah. But then again, were you doing it to help? Nah, because oh. if you think about it, look at Susan Crow, like that was just that was sheer brutality and darkness, wasn't it really? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because why would you burn a patient's yeah. feet to stop them escaping? But that would just apply to one single doctor, but there would have been other doctors here that thought that at the time that, that what they were doing was yeah. like okay. Like, yeah. You know. Well, don't forget as well, if it weren't for places like this, then you know our medical science today wouldn't be where it is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We'd still be in these times yeah. if it wasn't for you know, 17, 1800s yeah. of doing this kind of stuff. So, yeah, Weird. we're pretty fortunate right now. I just went in this section. Do you remember when we first came in? In here, this section, we had a witch come through. Yeah. And what they were actually doing, the patients were being drowned in the river. And if they didn't drown, um, they were not caught, they were classed, well, they were a witch. Yeah. But if they drown, they were a witch. But either way, you were dead anyway, do you know what I mean? So, we had a witch here. But that's pretty shocking what they used to do. Sister. Sister. That's what they refer to nurses. Yeah, sister. Sister. Unknown. Yeah, or none. Yeah. Or was it her their sister? Or what they were a sister? Maybe. But it's probably more fit inside the nuns or sisters and like nurse. That's interesting. Hmm. What is that? I don't know. You looking for the nurse? Or are you the nurse? Last time we was in here, we had someone come through and say about the witch. It's quite good. It's quite good, that, yeah. It's, I kept coming out the other night though. It's quite good. Oh my god, it just said stop camera. Stop camera? Stop, stop the camera. camera. Stop the camera. What happens if we stop the camera? That is weird, man. Stop the camera. Stop out. It just feels 
Ultra cold air. Yeah. Cold it's very cold, yeah. We're literally just like trying to maneuver to get to the to the next floor up. Freezing here. Yeah. Stop camera. We got a lot of bulb bulb, so I think. Ask yeah. how I. Why do you want us to stop the camera? Or what happens if we stop the camera? What will you do? Do you not want to be seen? What was that? It was like me. Definitely something like talking again. Yeah, again, we're in the same spot, but over here and talking over here. Yeah. Twenty months ago. Do we just keep walking? We're here. We're here. Floor is a bit yeah, careful this floor, O'Neill. Yeah, the, the door, O'Neill, that's where you and fell through. What the hell's in there? Stop camera. Keep to the left. <laughs> what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? It just said, what do you need? Go to the left there, don't go to the middle. Yeah, on this way. Yeah, left. What do you need? Right, so we're on our way to the third floor now to one of the hot spots uh, where Sarah had done the Estes method and we've actually seen the caretaker. What appears to be the caretaker. Um, it's just eerie. Each level just seems more heavy and heavier. This is where for the first time. It feels weird. It does feel odd, doesn't it? Yeah. Feels really odd. I'm nerd up. Right, I've just got cobwebs on my hand. Cobweb sensation on my hand. That means obviously there's so much come around here. You make me happy. So we had a couple of viewers actually watch the last two videos and they actually came to school here. And basically on one of the levels, there's a door with a filing cabinet, there's a door behind it. And apparently that's where the padded cells were. Now we totally missed it, we didn't see it. Oh my God, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. That's weird now, I'm literally just talking about this, this, this padded cells and stuff. Yeah. But apparently there's, the, where's that door? We could do, try and investigate that, that area and try and get in there to see if it is the padded rooms. Carl, we were just talking about the padded cells. Yeah. And they came up. I right. hear God. Right. Can you tell us where the cells are? Can you make a noise? Fuck off. I was down there. I didn't hear it. It was like metal. Yeah. It was like a ding -dish. Can you do that again for us? Right where we were doing the estimate last time was here because yeah. that's the hall. That's where we're seeing the caretaker. The caretaker that's it. Was up that's it. Section, right yeah. down the end. And we kept feeling we could hear the, the keys jingling. The jingling, yeah. And that rolling sound was just coming from down there. Oh yeah, Goodbye. It's down, it's down there. There's someone locked them on the cells. They need to let out. No problem. Is this the section we've got Susan Crow? I think so. This might have been the section we've got Susan Crow saying, Ah, oh, my feet. Yeah. I'm not scared of you. Whoa! Told you. Told you. It's yes, they, they, they said. This is what See when you were in that cell. Yeah. Doing the SNF. Me, me, you were left in your own because me, Carl and Gary were away. Because mm. you were like, what's going on here? Yeah. How do you guys know it was a, care a caretaker though? I don't know, it was uh, the keys jingling, I think that's what it, what it was, yeah. didn't it? Would it not have been a ward, like a, a, a doctor or like a nurse? Yeah, even so, it could have been a nurse walking a place on. Night about the night stuck in the cell and stuff, there were like people... What was that? that? Yeah, what was that again? What was that knock? The knock I felt on my feet. Could you do that again for us, please? Just mad, I was just like, I'm not scared of you, and then we heard that bang. Yeah. 
I'm going to roll this EVP as well because I think this is the section, it might be totally wrong, where we heard Susan Crow speak out. Why are you not scared of us? You don't have to be scared of us, neither. Is Susan Crow here? Why are you here? What? Just here to talk to you. We're actually here because this place is about to close soon. About to close. It's been closed about why, twenty why years. It's about to be like completely renovated. Is what I'm trying to say. Why, why is it like you're last... What? You look really upset. Is it red? Are my eyes red? You look at you're upset. You look at you're about to cry. Yeah, it's weird. Even your voice is crying. It's just weird how you what? said this place is about to close yeah. soon. What the yeah, fuck like was that upset. about? What was that yeah, about? I don't know if you can see it, but Sarah's eyes are like warmer. What? It looks like. What? <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? It is weird. You look upset. The hell? This place is about to close soon. What the fuck? <laughs> it's been closed like 20 years. I should always see if you back the same time again. Look at the door shutting. What's the click click before that too? That's like a dog going. Where's that? Well, I'll see if that. Because I want to go home. Wow. Well, they would have done that. Maybe it's Susan Crow. I want to go home because she kept on fleeing. Oh my God. Yeah, because she kept on fleeing and getting readmitted. I think she's attaching to me right now. I don't know why I feel that way. Really? I'm starting to feel ill. Just seeing that was going off. And I'm feeling dizzy there. I was like, Whoa. I heard a tss. Really like a hiss. Like a tss. Like a tss burn on her feet. Yeah, like a tss. Like some steam. Whoa! She said yes. What is it? And it's a woman. Or he. Yes. What's that? What is it? It sounds like it says here. Yeah, listen to this. It sounds like it says here. Oh, oh. What? 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 Is it go home? Is it God, home? I'm, that's what I'm hearing. I had to be playing all the time. It's like, it's not go home. Be cautious. Be cautious. Go home. To go home. To go home. To go home. Just here for like a couple of minutes just to see what happens and we want to test this method. Yeah. Let's see what... 
what? That door moved. That door moved. Yeah. It was that door. Someone tugging that door. On reviewing the footage of the sound we heard, the door to my left had moved on its own. But prior to the sound we heard, we can clearly see a large white V-shaped anomaly come down and head to the left side towards the door that had moved. Was this a spirit trying to gain our attention or is this something else? Someone's not listening to me or something. That's good. That's good. Listen to me, in my voice. I'm so down there. We're about to say it. We speak to Susan. This door, probably can hear it right now, if it starts going off at some point, it means that someone's near this door. Oh, can't be much in here right now, this is really freaky. Just let me know um, when you want me to start. Alright, ready when you are. Right, okay, I'm rolling up now. I'm, I'm insane. I'm insane. Can you tell us your name? Something about being found dead. Found dead? Why were you found dead? Seeing you and I'm hearing like weird, like scary ass sounds. Were you found dead in that cell? Before we get into it, it's having something. Before we get into it, it's what? Can you go into that cell with Carl open the door and go in and talk to him, please? The dead, and it just says insane. Insane, like multiple times, like. Yeah. Ooh. What? I swear, I'm what? seeing things now. It looked to me that door opened, but it obviously is not open. It hasn't moved, but when I turned around, it looked like the door was open. It just says the being. The being. The being? The what's being. That, what's that mean? Oh, the being? The being. It's just that insane again. The being. Are you referring to the triangle that Neil saw earlier? Be afraid. Why do you think you're insane? Uh, like a uh, in there a few minutes ago. Are you in there with Carl at the moment? Are you in the same room? What's that girl's called? Help. 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 Why do you need help? What's wrong with you? What's up? It just says ow. Ow, are you in pain? What's hurting you?
I'm insane. I'm insane again. Who hurt you? Who's hurting you? Sounds like it's... You know, I'm insane, I'm insane. It's like, do you know what I mean? Look, if they're insane, they're going to keep saying it, aren't they? If they're insane, there's something telling them they're insane. Wow, just keep it busy. Just keep it busy. Keep her busy? Or keep him busy? Keep you hurt them. You're insane as well. You're not insane. She said it's like creepy man's laugh. You're not insane. You were just made to believe that you were insane, but you were never insane. I'm starting to feel like freezing cold in there. Not when I were alive, I heard a scream. I heard that. It's nothing that you're not used to. It's nothing that you're not used to. Was that you just screamed? Don't go, she said don't go. Do something. There. What was that? What are you hearing? It's just said spirits. Mm. How many spirits are with us? Why many of you are here with us? Who's been accused of being insane? Wrong. Wrong, yeah, you were wrongly accused of being insane. You should have looked where you're going. Fucking hell. Aggressive. Yeah, that was a bit aggressive there. Was it? Is this a doctor? Is the doctor here? I feel like something pulling on my bag right now. I felt something pulling on my bag. Just there. Are you touching Sarah? So what's that girl's name? Sorry. I'm Susan. Not. Susan, Susan, are you with us? That's right. That's right. That's right. Can you tell me what happened to you, Susan? It's the last words. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. The last words were can't breathe. Oh, what? The fuck? What? Someone just grabbed the back of my arm. Fucking hell. Squeezed it, squeezed it, but this this has happened quite a lot. It's like the, the back part, it's like someone squeezes it there. This has happened quite a few times, like okay. in, in fucking years. For years. It's starting to feel really sick in here, you know. Oh, no. Did you squeeze my arm? Why are you making Carl feel sick? Step so up. So it's just said calm down. What the hell? I just heard that. You have a visitor, you said you have a visitor. <gasps> Visitor, you felt the bag fall and I got felt like something in my arm. Yeah, and the bell just rang. It's like someone's coming in to get a patient. Oh, yes. The visitor? Yeah. It's a lovely carer. It's a lovely, lovely carer. carer. So someone nice come Behave in. Behave yourself. Behave So it's, there's some. I'm freezing. Yeah, what the fuck is so going on? It feels completely weird in here now. So someone, there's a visitor coming in, so the bell is going off, there's a visitor coming in, and someone's told all the patients to be in their best behaviour then? Basically what he said. I'm heavy, he said I'm heavy. I'm heavy. Can you tell us the name of the visitor? This is my suicidal, he just said. What? This is my suicidal. There's nine of us. Nine of you. I asked that earlier on. Can you touch Carl? Can you touch Carl but do not harm him? Touch him and let him know that you're here. Whoa, I just heard, I just heard like, it sounded as if someone's like smacking something on the, on the door, like, like a, on sort of metal on the door, like, bum, 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 bum. Are you locked in? I feel chill, like. I don't know. Why is it went quiet? Listen. We're listening. What do you want us to hear? Come play. You want us to play with you? What do you want to do? What kind of game do you want to play? You walk in front of you. Take it out. Take out. Whoa! Oh my god, right, I've just heard this like weird fucking sound in my ears. I cannot describe the sound I just heard, it was just so fucking weird. 
If you want to play, you walk in front of that wee box and read your face. A woman just says, fuck you. Fucking hell. Why are you getting so aggressive? The dead people just said the dead people. Why are you getting aggressive? Why are you so angry? What's pissing you off? Has he collapsed? It just said, has he collapsed? It's weird. Galva, it's a Galva. It's weird it's said by someone playing, isn't it? Yeah. And that's when I felt my anger. Because I was literally about to say if they wanted to play What time course. is it? Mm, no. Time is yeah. 2 o'clock. It just said, what time is it? It is 2 a.m. Are you meant to be in bed? What was that? Let's walk. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Hang the noose, it just said hang the noose. Jesus Christ. Good hell. Is Bridget here? Cut the body down, it's just said cut the body down. Fuck off. Neil. What? Bridget was the one that was found hanging in the um the stray shocker. Is she dead? You yes. Is Bridget here? Is, is is a Bridget communicating with us right now, or did you vis did you witness Bridget dying in this hospital? Did she hang herself? Oh my god! It might not even be. It could be any patient. Like like who else, who would want to be here? Like it could be anyone, couldn't it? He was something. He comes in today. Comes in today. The visitor. The fears are not cheap. Who's coming today? Is it the He's doctor? gone. Is the doctor coming today? Is Dr. Thompson or Dr. West coming? It's gone quiet all of a sudden. The second I mentioned those doctors' names, not a peep out of them. So you think this is the patient's talking? Yeah. And so the then... second I... I was dead. I was dead. So the doctors are just... There was a shot up instantly as soon mm -hmm. as the doctors were coming. You were scared of them. Were you afraid of the doctor? Do you tell me you heard that? I heard that. It was like a yes. It was like a yes. You do realize the doctor's no longer here, so just so you know, he's gone. Both doctors are gone now. They're dead. They're dead. More than 30. Huh? More than 30. 29, more than 30. Mm. Was it more than 30 people that the doctor hurt? Huh, really? What? <gasps> what, what, what? He goes, huh, really? Because I said the doctors are dead and he goes, huh, really? Is it the doctor communicating right now then? No, it's like some multiple different. I know, but like it was like, huh, really? And then they go quiet when you said the doctors and then... Susan, are you still here? Was this your cell? Getting sick now again. And them doctors weren't very nice, were they? <laughs> Horrible people. Very sorry for what happened to you. I feel like I'm like lost for questions in a way as well. Yeah, it just feels like you don't know what to say. It's like, so I know. The doctors are gone. We are all with you and you know it. Oh my God. He <laughs> said the doctors are gone. He <laughs> said we're all with you and you know it. The doctors are gone. Good time. What? Good time or something? You are dead. Can you do something for us? Or something? At some point. Okay, do it now. There's so many of this. Right, okay, no, wait a minute, someone's just double tapping on my back. It's just a, it's just a get out now as well. What? Someone's just double tapping on my back. That just... Weird. Well, I just literally asked, do something now. What? Mm. Said do something. Yeah. Oh my god, it was a slight ass that's all that. On my back. Oh fuck. Weird. 
Holy shit, yeah, yeah. that was freaky. Some mad shit coming through. Keep saying insane, insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm insane, I'm insane. That's yeah. all it is. I'm insane, majority of it. Weird. Where it's kind of like doctors are speaking or something in the background and talking about like patients or something. Weirdly enough. It was weird because I was like, um, did, like obviously we didn't know we were hearing doctors. I, mean, I started asking about Dr. West and Dr. Um, Thompson. Yeah. And the second I said that, that he just went mad quiet. It was like they all just shut up. Yeah, I know. Really quiet. Did you press the walk socket button at one point? No, because you don't. You were like, shh. Yeah, no, I was holding it in my hands. It was, it was in my pocket for like a minute, and then I realised it was in my pocket. Took it out. I did see a white. Like this is during the exercise method. The, the green light came. What is this one? Trying to speak through it. You know, as if like when you talk. Yeah. On yours, it'll go green. Yeah. And mine will go green if you you, you do like it. A, look. It, it oh, look, that's what you did. Pretty interesting stuff. Freakish. Yeah. Cold, I feel so cold, you have no mm-hmm. idea. Okay, so literally we've been in here for about five hours, six hours. A very long time. A very long time. It's now officially 3 a.m. <laughs> 3 a.m. challenge. Hey, was it 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock? Which an hour? Which an hour? Two, two minutes. Jesus, that's five hours down here. Yeah. Holy good cacks. <laughs> Let's just, just have a quick run around, roll some dead com, just see what happens. Herlet. 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 Weird. Herlet. See? See, it's freaky in it. Yeah, it's warmer. Yeah, it's a lot warmer. Keep in that place. Yeah. Time. Oh, and go up. Yeah, let's head down. Why is it so warm in here? It's like four degrees outside. This place is such a maze, we just don't even know where everything is. We've not even discovered everything, do you know what I mean? Just lines yeah, her light, it said. Her light upstairs, one mm. Yeah, no, it's crazy, isn't it? Well, we were working this, but... Just looking at the two patients walking down the stairs and they're getting their clothes down and like... Yeah, patient's gone. Yeah. Over here. Why oh, is warm in here? Oh, freak it. Because we're in the actually used part of the hospital right now. We're going to head back into derelict stuff because we are in Republic Island. If the police do turn up or the guardy turn up, then we are getting arrested. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. So let's, uh, let's just lock that door and pretend we didn't go into that area. There we go. It's all part of this hospital is still used. It's weird. It's really weird. That's why we've got to keep going up and down. And the stairs to get to different levels because some doors are open, some doors are locked. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. I wonder if people experience stuff in here. Obviously, that's the working job. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What the what's fuck what's was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Do you hear that? 
Did you get that camera? They wounded them. Oh my god, they wounded them. I went to open that door. Oh, and it's just like calm, bro. It's just like calm. I went to open the door. It's like a like a doof of red behind the door. Oh, but did we not hear that when we closed that? Yeah. Oh, that earlier on. And yeah. we thought it was the door. So maybe it wasn't. Like, it was tripping ourselves up before that. I literally went to open the door, and you would have caught that me jumping back. No way. But look at that. They wounded them. The doctors no. wounded them. I'm feeling sick again. Yeah. Let's just head this way. Yeah, yeah I'm feeling a bit like, ooh. You're just sick. Jesus. We should try and navigate our way to where we first started, where we've seen the, the shadow walking around. Yes. And obviously from part two, I think it was, where the woman was heard crying. I think we should do that. Right, now it's smelling like, like hospital. Yeah. Their ring. Their ring? Their ring? How the hell did it just smell like a tiny hospital? Yeah, it did. It smelled like that, that, um... What is that? Happened again? That's, um... Like, like, you know, they clean the floors with? Yeah. Cleaning. Yeah, like cleaning solution. That is so weird. That's definitely like some residual smells going on right now. Right, we're gonna head back down. You're gonna follow us. So eerie. Right, so pretty much near where we started. We started. It's freaky, man. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably be the last time. Yeah. This is gonna be the last time now. Whoa, the whistle. It's a whistle isn't it? Listen, listen, listen. Is that a bird or an actual whistle? Time for us to leave. We're gonna go now, but we wanna thank you for communicating with us tonight. I hope that you can find the strength to move on. And don't be afraid to go to the other side. Do you have any final messages? Fuck. 
Could you do that closer to us, please? After a tense seven hours of investigating this notoriously haunted asylum, once again, it's safe to say it's still seriously active, with all things supernatural. Some can be explained, but majority will remain unknown, which begs for more questions as to why the spirits of this dark, abandoned asylum still roam the now empty corridors. Alright, so Darksiders, I hope you've really enjoyed this video. I know we have. It's been quite interesting. Not as scary as like the previous times, but it's not to say that it wasn't freaky at all. We've got some really cool evidence tonight, like 100%. I'm some looking bad forward to stuff out, maybe. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm actually looking forward to watching the Esther Smith back and just seeing what the relevance was and if there was actually anything as interesting as previous times and stuff like that. So it's been, it's been cool. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Smash the like button, drop your comments, tell your thoughts and theories as well. But this is probably the last time, unfortunately, that we're going to be investigating this location. No doubt, I think it's either going to be turned to housing um, accommodation for the, um, the immigrant situation that's happening in over here in Ireland, or maybe even actual houses, I don't know, or maybe even just offices. We just don't know at this point in time, but we have noticed lots of significant changes within the building and obviously you know a lot of places have been sealed off and boarded unfortunately so we can't get to the padded cell room where the final cabinet was unfortunately i wanted to see that we never got to see the ballroom either no. we never got or to the that. octagon the octagon or the octagon where mm -hmm. you know they used to spin patients around and rid the demons or whatever do you know what i mean so we've done a lot of walking yeah like, we have we've <laughs> over like, over five hours you know what we need we need one of them uh, pedometers just to like yes, show us how, yeah. how, how many laps we've been doing <laughs> do you know what i mean like how many miles we just and how many cows we just burn off mean, and that, going around in circles yeah that's it yeah <laughs> but yeah anyway big shout out to me, members and patrons for supporting the channel, hit the join button, become a Dark Arts TV member on the unit you already know to create more crazy content such as this video. Uh, also check out my, my, my boy Soul Lost Souls, link is in the description. Also check out DATVofficial.com, back the merch and help support the channel. And then, yeah, next time you never know, we might get sucked into a wormhole and then wake up in the chair being spun round. And a guy oh, shouting saying about the demons, who knows? I don't get seasick. Yeah. <laughs> Spin it. Yeah, it's like, ooh. <laughs> but that is it. We shall see on the flip side. Peace.